Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So Power League has come out. I haven't covered anything for the update so far because all I was excited for was this Power League. I was up right at night and unfortunately yesterday my streaming and YouTube equipment just decided it doesn't want to work anymore at literally the worst time possible. But here we are. We are back. Now today Obviously, we've been grinding Power League. I'm currently third in the world, I believe, in team. I haven't played much solo yet. Just because solos, there's a kind of a lot of cheating going on, so I don't really want to participate in that right now. I just feel like doing team. A lot of good teams are playing. We were first, but we got a little bit busy and slept 13 hours, so we are in second. But what we're going to do is cover a few games, tell you guys my strategies, how I'm personally climbing, what I'm doing to climb and the best way to do so. So with that being said, let's hop into the draft process and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into our first game. I don't know these guys. We play a lot of people from other continents, so we do have some delay. Now, what I do personally, no matter the map, no matter what it is, I just go in and I ban Stu. Now, I like to be the last pick. Why is this? Because the draft is an actual process in which there's just a lot that happens. There's a lot to factor in your mind. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys step by step now, hopefully these guys don't dodge because we get dodged half the time, which absolutely sucks, which is when people just see our name and they say, okay, we don't want to play these guys anymore. So Alec has first pick. He's, his job is basically to take the most well-rounded overpowered brawler. On most maps, it's going to be Mr. P. The reason is Mr. P doesn't really have that many hard counters and encounters a lot of things. So a lot of brawlers, you know, you can't really pick into Mr. P. So they're going to go Mortis. So something we have to do is make sure now we're not going to go something that just gets absolutely destroyed by Mortis. That is very, very important. Now we're wondering what the second guy is going to pick. Now we kind of want to counter the mid. That's one of the more important things. So we're going to try and see what happens. I personally like having last pick because I can kind of not get countered and pick what counters them. But first pick is also really good because you get the OP brawler. Now OG is going to pick the dog. We have Alec. Now Alec can mid. Um, I think I'm going to go with Sandy this game just so none of us really get countered. Actually, I'm going to go with Tara because Tara does a little bit better into Mortis. So there we go. We have a well-rounded team. Mr. P can mid. And we don't really get countered by their comp. Um, and we counter a lot of things. They can't go tanks because of Tara. We're pretty good into squishies because of Mr. P. So we kind of have all of our base surrounded. And there's nothing really that they can counter us with. And that is the best move. So they're going to go with Sprout. Um, kind of a good pick into us. But Sprout, Max, Mort is kind of a weird combo. They don't have much consistency. So I think once we get like five, six, seven gems into the game, it's going to be pretty easy for us once we have power-ups, Mr. P, Porter, and Tara pull in cycle. So, we're going to start off the game here. And we're going to be moving forward. So, obviously, I am the lane. I'm going to go to that right side. I'm pretty sure OG might go mid with Alec. Looks like he's not going to. I'm going to use one gadget to... Oh, never mind. He's on the mid. So, I'm not going to use a gadget. I'm going to make my way to the mid. Obviously, on this map, having mid control is super, super important. So, we're just going to be chilling over here. Trying to have that control, gonna move forward. Try and get that sprout. Not gonna be able to, we're out of shots. So we're gonna go down to this mort, but it's okay. We have gadgets, we have a lot of stuff cooking up. We have our porter, Alec now has the power up. So we're looking pretty strong at this point. Plus Tara isn't really that good until you get the super cycle. So we're gonna throw this down, try and just find out where they are. I didn't know this max is still left to me, kind of sussed that my minions didn't look for it, but it's whatever. One shot to pull, there we go, we get it. So now we have this area kind of on lockdown. We're sitting in here with our pull. We're just gonna pull the max over here, get a really easy kill on it. It's gonna even waste a gadget, which is really good. Please don't kill me, okay. We go down, but still really good, you know, situational gameplay here. I don't think we're gonna go down or at least OG and Alec because they have the power up. We have full control of mid. Now Sprout is a really good brawler and Mortis is kind of a wild brawler. So we never know really what's gonna happen, but we should be fine. I'm gonna throw this down just to kind of distract them for a bit. And here we go, we have the countdown. So moving back here, just gonna be chilling. Looking for this Sprout, gonna try and hit it. Gonna use my gadget again, just cause I don't wanna save it for the end. And I would just rather cause them to go back at the end of the game. Gonna just pull this Tara and there we go. It's gonna be the first game. So two second break here. Okay, my screen went black. I guess a good time for my screen to go black. Okay, there we go. So my screen is now working at the start of the second game. It wasn't working at the uh, at the very beginning. It was just a black screen. Don't know why. Gonna put down these Tara minions to kind of push that Mortis out. And we're gonna move forward here. But la as I said earlier, the most important part of this entire process is the draft. If you get out comped, you're just not gonna win. If you have the better comp, it's very likely that you do win. So just try and be smart with your drafts. 
You know, you don't necessarily have to take the most OP brawlers always. Remember that different brawlers are good on different maps, etc. A lot of things change and just try and draft smart. Don't take Mortis first when the other team can just go ahead and take Shelly. Not a smart move. Just try not to get countered. Pick brawlers that are good into their brawlers and you should be fine. Now we're going to be able to get a kill over there. Trying to juke away from the sprout. Going to be able to. We're going to stay alive. Again, we have full control of the mid. We have all the power-ups and now we are looking good. All right, that Mortis decided it didn't want to get pulled today, but I guess I'll just take out the max, and that is going to be the first game. So, oh, maybe not, actually. Alec decided he wants to die. Going to try and just hold this Mortis in this middle area as long as possible. Going to be able to do that. That's going to be a kill over there, and okay. Although Alec did his best attempt to throw, and he might be doing that again, we did come up with the win on or in the first match, so we're going to move on to the second match now. Show you guys the draft again, talk about some more strategies. Hopefully we get a different mode, different map. And yeah, let's get into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our second game. Again, hopefully these guys do not dodge us. We have first pick again. So again, we're probably going to go with the most well-rounded, decent brawler. Um, I think I'm going to keep Stu in play here because we have first pick. So if Stu is available, we're going to take it. Um, I'm going to click the dog brawler, otherwise known as Colonel Ruffs, because I don't like matches that he's in. Alec should go with the stew here. He's definitely going to go with it. I don't think Alec is, you know, dumb enough to leave them with stew. So he's going to go ahead. He's going to take it. Alec, please lock in your pick. Oh, he's going to, please don't go Max. Max would be fine, but Lou is, Lou is, or Stu, not Lou. Sorry, please no Lou. Stu is definitely the better option. Um, hopefully we can get Max as well. If we can go Max, we can have Stu, Max, and BB, because they're not going to take BB within the first two, and we would have a really overpowered comp. Now, they're going to go with Amber, so we have to go things that are kind of decent against Amber, and let me tell you, there's not many things that are decent against Amber, but definitely not going a brawler that gets countered by it is the strategy. So they're going to have a Byron as well, so not much DPS. Hopefully OG goes Max. I could see OG going Max. I'm going to hold the BB. He's going to go Penny, okay, which means I'm now the mid. I'm going to have to mid against Byron, so I believe I'm just going to go Piper. Reason being, Piper is good against Byron, is pretty good against Amber since you outrange Amber. Um, so this shouldn't be too bad, should be pretty easy. And then we do have really good control, and then Stu, which is just a wild brawler. Maybe Alec might just hard carry a Stu, I don't know. Um, Mr. P we always like to have on our team basically in any map any mode Mr. P is just a really good pick They actually have a really good comp perhaps three of the top like six brawlers in the game But I think our comp is better just as lanes and as the map and you know with the strategy and all I think we're in a pretty good spot So let's hop into this match and let's see what happens. I'm gonna be mid against the Byron So I'm just gonna go for this kind of like two tap to start off um, Let's see I have additional speed, which is also awesome be able to hit one shot over there we go for the second one don't want to use a curve this early there we go we're able to get a kill gonna push up alex side over here we're gonna be able to get that kill alex gonna super forward and that is going to be a really good start now again they have good brawlers but i believe our strategy here is a little bit better than theirs they have the speed so this is kind of what we got to be careful for just their speed and if we can kind of hold off here then we're fine i'm just gonna gadget the max push it back Almost got the kill, but at least we forced it to move back. I'm able to take out the Byron over there. Didn't really need the uh, the super shot there, but whatever. I'm going to super the ball forward to Alec. Alec should be able to score this. He's going to pass it. Oh, and the team chemistry. Oh my god, I can't believe my screen went black there. But the team chemistry with the wall break and the bounce. That was pretty fire. That was pretty cool. I'm really happy we caught that on video. Now, next game gonna be going up obviously against the same thing gonna go for the same strat we want the two tap right off the bat it looks like the byron's gonna play really passive and just kind of heal the max so our strategy now is just gonna be to hit the max and help alec win his lane max is one shot so alec's gonna be able to gain some position off of that we hit the amber so og's gonna be able to do the same with his lane and again we're just trying to hit shots here it doesn't really matter who it's on as long as we can get those hits we are looking good. Going to pass the ball off to Alec. I somehow got it, and that sucks because we should have had a goal over there. Kind of unfortunate that we didn't, but whatever. We'll move forward, try and make a play here. Now, they have speed, so again, we just don't overcommit. We just got to take our time, relax, try and let them make a play rather than us make a play and just catch them with bad timing. Going to be able to get the Byron over there. 
Again, very patient, not rushing for that ball or anything. Oh, we missed that shot, but we should be fine. Alec trying to make a play. Not going to be able to. Oh, and he just needed one more shot, which is super unlucky. We should be up 1-0 in this game, to be honest, but we are not. We are down 1 to nothing, and we got to change that here. So hopefully I can just kind of walk up over here, get this wall break to help Alec with lane. Going to be able to kill the Byron. The Byron also wasted a gadget. We get OG's lane as well. Going to be able to get that kill. Going to super pass that to Alec. And he's going to put that one in the net. And that was really well played. 1-1. One, one. Now the map has opened up. So it's really good, obviously, for me. Able for me to hit shots. Or easier for me to hit shots. Going to go for the two-tap on Byron. Going to be able to get it. Looking for my super here. Going to be... Oh, not going to be able to get it. But I'm just going to pass that ball over to OG. OG's hopefully going to put it in the net. Please, OG. Okay, there we go. He puts it in the net. And that is going to be another win. So, unfortunately, being this high ranked, my ELO doesn't move up that much. It moves up basically a sliver every loss. and moves up like... And moves down half the bar when we lose. It's terrible. I hate it. We're going to show you guys one more map. One more match. So, let's hop into it. Let's get to the draft process. Let's skip this matchmaking. And let's see what happens. All right. So here we go in our final game. It's going to be Ice Ford again. What are the odds? There are 18 maps. And we're getting the same one twice out of three games. So again, we're going to be going with the ban. I didn't see who won the coin toss. Kind of a bad team captain strap by me. So I'm just going to go ahead and ban Stu since he's kind of that one brawler where we haven't really figured out too much yet. So we're just going to go ahead and ban him. Kind of take out that wild card. Now that I read the screen, it says that Alec is next. So I guess... I could have used my eyes, but it's fine. They're going to ban Colonel Ruffs. So that's very OP. We're probably going to be able to take this one pretty easily. So Alex is going to go ahead and take Mr. P again. If you have first pick on a map like this, take Mr. P. It doesn't get countered. Nothing really counters it. I mean, Mortis counters it. But if someone's going to take Mortis, okay, whoop de doo You can go Shelly next pick and just Shelly super them to the face. So it doesn't really matter. Um, Let's see what they go here. They're probably going to go with sprout sprout's probably the best option into mr p as a mid that's what the other team did last time it didn't really work out too well they're gonna go with max okay so them having max makes me kind of want a sandy because sandy does really well into that amber i'm not too sure if i want a sandy against amber though so let's see what og decides to go i'm probably gonna end up going with sandy to be honest og is still drafting taking all the sweet time that he possibly can He's going to go Byron. Okay, very interesting. So, I don't really know what the best strategy here is. I'm probably just going to go with what I said I was going to play. And go Sandy, just because I don't get hard countered really by too much. And I think Sandy's pretty good into Max, to be honest. Um, and it's not great into Amber, but the way the map is shaped, there's not really too many just long lines of combat you can kind of hide inside like the bow the box on uh on ice fort so i'm just going to be walking through the mid to start off so i don't have to catch the amber in lane and go lane on lane versus an amber because that is how to lose a brawl stars game so they're going to be going with edgar kind of a wild pick not a bad pick but byron does counter the edgar jump a little bit and once the jump is used three times as long as we're not you know completely ruined in the game we're probably in pretty good hands so here we go into our first game Okay, there we go. My screen is fixed. Going to be moving forward here. Obviously going to go on the inside because we don't want to lane that Amber. It looks like they have the Edgar on my side, which is fine. Kind of just don't want to get jumped on. But if we get jumped on, it is okay because Alec is right here. I think this Edgar is just going to be chilling in the grass for quite some time. So I'm just going to go for these guys. I'm gonna put my super down so that when I get my hits, I also get value. So if I didn't put my super down, then I would be, you know, I'd have my super, but I'd be five, five shots away from it. Because I put it down, I'm only three shots away from my super now. And my teammates got value off of it. So pretty good. Edgar again is gonna be going on my lane. He's probably really close to jump, which is a little bit scary. He's gonna use it. Gonna move back over here, please. All right, we're able to get the kill. So this is kind of looking like a win. I don't think we lose this game. Going to put this down so I know where the Amber is 24-7. Really easy kill for us over there. The Edgar has one more jump left or one more gadget, I guess. But the fact that they didn't win at the start. If they don't win at the start with this comp, they're not going to win at the end. Since we have position with Mr. P, we're going to have Sandy super cycling, etc. Um, but we are looking pretty good. Going to put this last super down. 
didn't even get to use a gadget that game, which kind of sucks. Oh, I guess I can use one now. So we got our gadget value in one nothing for us. Good start, really clean. Probably gonna happen again. So let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens. Again, I'm gonna be going through the middle. If you don't feel like you're a brawler that has the greatest matchup with your lane, you could always go through the middle. You might get hit by their mid a couple times and kind of charge their super, but it's not the worst thing in the world. We're gonna get three shots. Oh, we only got two. We're gonna go down. A little bit unfortunate, but it is fine. Again, we are kind of late game brawlers here, not really early game brawlers. That's what they should have done last game. Edgar right here. We should be able to get that kill. We are going to be able to. And now we are only one shot away from our super. Going to move forward. Going to get a couple shots over there. I thought Alec was going to come with me. He didn't. I think if he did, we would have had the kill, but it's fine. Again, late game brawlers. We're not worrying over here. There's two dead, so I'm not going to use my Sandy super yet. I want to use it, obviously, when they're alive. Gonna use it now. Just roam. Gonna go for this Amber. Gonna get the kill. Unfortunately, gonna go down to the Edgar, but I believe that's the last Edgar jump. I think we're perfectly fine now for the rest of the game. Again, I'm one shot to super. We have position. This should be a pretty easy win for us. Got my super, so we're gonna be able to figure out where that Edgar is at all times. Waiting for the gadget. You don't want to spam three shots on a max straight away because if you do it's just going to gadget and block one or two shots so you always want to wait until it does its gadget before you shoot your second or third shot but anyways that is going to be it for the video we're going to get another win we're going to go three and oh and move up if you guys want power league tips on how to grind solo i can definitely do that i again i haven't done too much solo because there's a lot of cheating going on right now in it and I don't really like that. That would piss me off if I was playing and there's just people cheating to get ahead of me. But anyways, that is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. You guys already know what to do. But I will catch you guys again soon. I love Power League. Let me know if you guys do too. I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.